All right, the Commanders. The Commanders are at it again, and they have made it clear they want to win now. They want to win now, and there's moves like this that can be a rookie quarterback's best friend. Now, they brought in a wide receiver quietly. Quietly brought in a wide receiver that I think is a great move. I will admit, I made a video here on this channel that I thought moving Jahan Dotson, getting a third rounder, they did some pick swapping, stuff like that. I thought it was a great move. I think it made sense. He never got his legs under him here in Washington um, as a rookie and in his second year and beyond and bring, or sending him to the Eagles is just fine. But it left the question of, do you have enough pieces to surround Jaden Daniels to give him enough talent around him to have success? Because the last thing you want to do with a rookie quarterback is throw in, throw him into the fire where he doesn't have the pieces to serve success. And they did just that by bringing in Noah Brown from the Houston Texans. He spent his last two years in uh, Texas, one with the Dallas Cowboys, one with the Houston Texans. And that is where the relationship, I think, makes sense because the new head coach, Dan Quinn, knows him from his days with the Dallas Cowboys. So let's get into what you can expect to see from Noah Brown. Let's talk about what his mindset is going in. And I'm here to tell you he is a better wide receiver than Jahan Dotson. And you don't need to just take my word for it. All right, Jahan Dotson in his last two years was targeted 79 and 56 times. He turned that into 518 yards and 523 yards. Both of those at a 62% completion percentage. All right? Not great, not terrible. All right? Not great, not terrible. Noah Brown, Houston last year and Dallas the year before on 54 and 70 targets. Turned that into 567 yards and 555 yards. So on less targets, more yards, both of those at a 61% completion percentage on two with two different quarterbacks, all right? Here's the thing about Noah Brown. As you see, he is a guy, he played for the Cowboys for the first five years of his career, and he really didn't do anything until his fifth year. Never got more than 24 targets. When he got his targets, he's been consistently just fine, but never went nuts until the last two years where he became a real threat. I will say with the Houston Texans, injuries, a couple injuries kind of set him back a little bit. But now he is going to the Commanders where he is playing with an old coach, with Dan Quinn, and obviously different sides of the ball they were on, but also a college teammate in Terry McLaurin. Noah Brown played at Ohio State. We know what kind of wide receivers they can do. But he is also shockingly versatile. And I think that that's the thing that I love about him. Jahan Dotson was 5'11", 180 pounds. Noah Brown, 6'2", 215 pounds. He can play the slot. He can play the outside. And what we've been hearing through camp is they want Luke McCaffrey to run in the slot. And I, I get it. Like, Diami Brown, he's absolutely playing better. And that's a good thing. And we want him to play better. But at the same time, sometimes when a guy finds it out of nowhere, it doesn't always stick forever. It doesn't always stick forever. So here's what I want to do. I just want to um, play you kind of some audio on what he had to say about coming and playing for the commanders. I'll let him do the talking for me. Here you go. See him, his game grow. He's got to see my game grow. And it's, it's, been, it's going to be great to meet back up at this point. I assume you had a couple of options. Um after uh, you moved on from Houston, why did you decide this was a good place? Um, kind of like I mentioned before, I'm familiar with some faces in the building. Um, faces are familiar with me. They know what I'm about, know what I can bring to this team. Yep. And I'm, I feel like it's a good opportunity for me to uh, go help a program, and I'm excited to be here. No, what do you feel you do bring? I, I think I bring a little bit of everything when it comes to the offensive uh, mindset. You know, I, I'm, I'm a very viable uh, pass option. I can, I can block in a, in a blocking game, have experience in a uh, special teams game, and I'm willing to do all of it. So. Um, you know, I'm just ready to contribute. What was it like? I'm willing to do all Jayden, of it. And what do you think of the rookie quarterback? And I'm ready to contribute. I'm willing to do all of it, and I'm ready to contribute. That is what we wanted to hear from touchdown Noah Brown. All right, because what has happened with him in the past is he has been a player that's been kind of volatile, 
right? He's been a player that's been kind of volatile. He's been a player who's had his ups and his downs. When things are going his way, he's playing well. Things are looking up. When things aren't going his way and he's not getting the ball, his attitude hasn't been as great. So I think what's so awesome to hear about this is he's sitting here saying, I'm willing to do all of it. He said special teams. He said whatever it is to help this team win. Now, do I think he's going to need to play special teams for this team? I don't think that is going to be the case. All right? Because he is going to play football for this team. All right? When you talk about where this wide receiver room is. I think you're going to have Terry McLaurin on one side by week three or four. Noah Brown is going to be on the opposite side playing that X spot. And then I think in the slot by that time, you're going to have Luke McCaffrey. So what you're going to have is you're going to have two experienced wide receivers on the outside. Two guys who have done it, that know it, and have done it before. And by then, Luke McCaffrey is going to get past Zacchaeus. All right? And I always make, I can't say Zacchaeus without Zacchaeus, get down from there. Sorry, it's my, it's every time, Bible jokes. All right, so let's, let's have a conversation about what this looks like in this offense. Because now I think what you have done is you have an offensive line that is capable to protect. You have wide receivers that are able to get open. All right, you have wide receivers that are able to get open. Noah Brown has proven that when there's no other options, he can be the guy. After Tank Dell's injury last year, the next two games, and then, by the way, Noah Brown got hurt, which is really unfortunate. The two injuries when he was the number two receiver, and at times, Nico Collins was battling a hamstring at that time, so number one, here are those two games. You ready for it? All right. Six targets, six catches, 153 yards. That was week nine. Week 10 against Cincinnati. Eight catches, or sorry, eight targets, seven catches, 172 yards. That was against Tampa Bay and Cincinnati. Those aren't garbage defenses. Those are good defenses. And now, and he was doing that with a rookie quarterback. So now he comes to Washington to play with another rookie quarterback. I think it's going to go really, really well. I think it's going to go really, really well. And so I'm just really excited. I think this is a good, quiet signing. As you can see right here, we're Lions fans, right? We know that, but we love the NFL. We love talking football. I was doing a video just a few days ago about what, what wide receiver the Lions need to bring in, right? And Noah Brown was one of the three guys that I was saying, I think the Lions should bring this, one of these three guys in. And while I was talking about it, they actually brought in Tim Patrick from the Broncos. But I thought Noah Brown was probably the most ready-made, I can contribute and play good football for you right now wide receiver. And that is what a rookie quarterback needs. And that will help this team win now and get their ducks in a row to win in the future. All right, hope you like the content. Hit that subscribe button. Man, Commanders fans, you've been awesome in showing support for your team on this channel. Uh, keep it up. Hit that subscribe and you'll see more videos. Thanks for watching.